Hello students, very good morning. Welcome to Narayana Live Classes today for class 6 students. We are going to discuss assignment number 16 in our number system. Now let us start with the first question. Michael bought 4 2 by 4 kg of rice and John borrowed 2 2 by 6 kg of rice from him. The rice in cages might have no waste. So this is what the amount of rice with Michael. That's what he bought. From this amount, John has borrowed. He took some of the amount of rice from Michael. What is that? 2 2 by 6 kg. So what is the rice that is left with Michael? What is the meaning of it? Total 4 2 by 4 kg from that. 2 2 by 6 kg is borrowed. Means you have to subtract this amount from this amount. Then the resultant becomes the amount of rice, weight of rice that, that remains with whom? My kale. So simple question. Now, what right? The rice left with my kale is equal to total amount is 4 2 by 4 kg minus 2 2 by 6 kg. Okay? If you simplify that, whatever you get, that is the answer. So it is a mixed fraction converted into an improper fraction. 4 4 are 16 plus 2 that is 18 by 4 minus 2 6 are 12 plus 2 that is 14 by 6. Okay? So that is otherwise 6 if you take as LCM. What do you have? So uh, sorry, not 6. So LCM is 4 and 6 LCM is 12. So here 3 to 13 is 54 minus 2 that is 28. So 54 minus 28 is nothing but 26 by 12 that is nothing but 13 upon 6. 13 upon 6 is nothing but 2 1 by 6 kg. If you write in the mixer fraction again, it is 2 6 are 12, 1 is a remainder. So 2 1 by 6 kg is the answer. This much amount of rice is with my kale now. 2 1 by 6 kg is nothing but fourth option that is the right answer. Now let us see the next question. The cost of a notebook is rupees 8 3 by 4. Then the number of notebooks that can be purchased for rupees 131 1 by 4 is. So this is the amount what I have. How many books I can purchase in such a way that each book is costing me rupees 8 3 by 4. That is a question. How to solve it? Say total amount whatever I have that divided by cost of each notebook. What right now? The number of notebooks. That can be purchased. That can be purchased. How much is that? Rupees 131 1 by 4 upon rupees 8 3 by 4. I hope you understand. Total amount by cost of each notebook is give you the total number of books which I can purchase. That is otherwise mixed fraction that is converted into improper. So that is 4 1s are 4. 4 3 is 12, 4 1 are 4, that is 525 by here, that is 35. 4 4 cancels anyway. Group is also let us remove. So, how much is that? It is 15 times. 15 35 is 545. So, how many notebooks I can purchase now? 15 notebooks I can purchase with the amount I have. Right? Next. A wire of length 12 1 by 2 meters is cut into 10 pieces of equal length. Each piece is of equal length. Then the length of each piece is okay. Length of each piece of you take total length, total length of y, total y length by 10. Total length of y by 10. So what is the total y length now? 12 1 by 2 meters. 12 1 by 2 by 10 meters. That is nothing but 25 by 2 into 10 that is 20. How much is that? 25 by 20 is nothing but 5 by 4. 5 by 4 is nothing but 1, 1 by 4 meters. 1, 1 by 4 meters. Each, each piece length will be 1, 1 by 4 meters. Nothing but second option for us, right? Let us see the next question. Last question. A carton contains 40 boxes of nails. Each box weighs 3, 3 by 4 kg. So what is the weight of the carton of nails? Carton of nails so the weight of cotton. Okay, that is equal to 40 into why should I take it? Because there are 40 boxes. 
each box weight is that so what is total cotton weight 40 times of each box weight that is 40 into 3 3 by 4 kg that is nothing but 40 into 3 3 by 4 if I write you a proper fraction that is 15 by 4 kg so 4 ones are 4 tens are that is how much 150 kg so the cotton's weight is how much 150 kilograms or kg right so that is a so which is the right option of third option is the right answer so that is the end of this assignment thank you have a great day